You're looking at a package from the2wheels.com. Um, if you search on eBay, it's T2W and uh, whatever item you're looking for. And these just happen to be CNC adjustable brake and clutch levers. Um, these are shorties. And the cool part is you get to choose uh, which color lever you want and which color adjuster to kind of customize um, for your bike. So, uh, US and it took uh, just over three weeks to get here from Hong Kong um, as you can see on the box here it looks like it went through customs and um, airmail it's free shipping so that was cool too I'll just go through um, placing these on my Honda Grom these are actually uh, if you search the item these are CBR 250 levers um, years 2011 through 13 and if you see here, here's the adjuster. So you can lengthen the reach from the, the hand grip or you can shorten it so it comes a little bit closer. Okay, to install these levers, uh, you're gonna have to take off the old lever first. Uh, it should be a pretty simple deal. What you wanna do is peel back the, uh, the rubber uh, cover. Um, I did take off my stock mirror just for uh, better illustration. Um, you want to take a socket wrench, it's a 10 millimeter, and uh, place that underneath. Um, remember Lefty Lucy. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, spin this. Um, you're going to need a big screwdriver to make sure it doesn't spin. Um, it's on there pretty loose so once you break that force you can just uh, hand loosen. Make sure you don't lose that. Um, then you just have to work the screw out. Okay, unscrewing it. Cool. So you can see it's real loose. Here's what the screw looks like with the nut. Put those together momentarily. Next, you're going to uh, pull on this lever, flip it up like this and over, and then you could just slide that little ball out. So, there, slide that ball out of there. Now I'm going to take my new lever and re-grab that ball and install it here, this hole. Okay, so I was having a real hard time getting any play out of this deal um, right here to be able to attach my new lever. So I'm going to go on the right side of the bike and disengage um, where the clutch body attaches to the transmission here. So you simply uh, pull it out, like so. Okay, so now that I've uh, disengaged the uh, clutch cable, it should be plenty loose enough to be able to pull out um, the little knob. So now I can stick that knob back in the new lever. I'll flip it back upside down. And I should be able to slide this in and line it up pretty easily. Take my old uh, screw head um, and uh, screw that in.
and I'll go ahead and reattach my uh, clutch cable. So of course after I disengage my clutch cable it's uh, actually pretty tough to get it back in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a uh, 12, meter, 12 millimeter wrench and loosen up this, uh, this cable stop I guess and just give it a little bit more room. And reinstall the uh, rubber cover. Doesn't fit perfectly, um, but should uh, cover it up. Seems to function properly. You'll go ahead and adjust it to uh, your desired reach. I'll probably start somewhere in the middle. Looks good. Now to uh, the front okay, brake lever. As before, instead of a screwdriver on top, you're gonna use a um, 10 millimeter uh, wrench. You can already see it's going to be a little more difficult because the, um, the clutch cable is in the way. Or excuse me, the uh, throttle. So I've got this uh, bolt fairly loose that's holding on the uh, brake lever. What you want to do is uh, release this throttle cable uh, just a little bit so you can turn it out of the way. So that is a 14 millimeter. I'm just going to tighten it up so it stays out of my way. Just remember the position, they were parallel before. Continue to remove this. It's only hand tight now. Nice and snug. Finish with the nut on the bottom. Voila. You have an adjustable lever. Six positions. Probably start somewhere in the middle for my medium sized hand. Here is the finished CNC shorty adjustable lever that I picked up off eBay. These are from Hong Kong. Take a look. 
and you can get uh, various colors on the lever as well as the adjusters. So check that out. My Honda Grom. On $35, um, you get a really good looking upgrade on your bike uh, as far as the look is concerned and um, the way it's going to feel in your hands. Thanks for watching. This is Lance Away.